Hello, uh, new content for air conditioning system. So, paano ba yung tamang uh, circuit breaker? At saka, wire uh, ng mga single piece aircon, aircon unit, 230 volts, 60 hertz, at saka inverter type. So, yung, yung single piece na aircon is merong dalawang klase. Or, ito yung common din na ginagamit na, na, na klase. So, actually, marami pang ano, applications. So, ito lang yung kadalasan. So, first is itong split type. Itong number one. This is the split type wherein itong condenser is nasa outside. Itong pan call unit is inside unit. O itong nasa loob. Itong pangalawa is ito yung window type aircon. So, may lalagay lang siya mounted doon sa sa wall. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya window type. And then yung hahanapin natin dito is ano ba talaga yung tamang circuit breaker ng 1 port HP 1 half uh, HP 3 port HP when we say HP, ito yung horsepower and then 1.0 HP 1 and 1 half HP uh, 2.0 HP so 3 HP and then 5.0 HP so ito yung commonly ginagamit ng mga single phase aircon so maganda to uh, ipakita natin dito kung ano talaga yung mga tamang circuit breaker base sa Philippine Electrical Code ang sabi sa PEC uh, 2710 table uh, 4.30 0.14.2 or yung pole load currents in amperes for single phase uh, alternating current motors so from this column ito yung horsepower meron tayong 1 fourth 1 half 3 fourth 1 1 and 1 half 2 3 at saka 5 ito yung ito lang yung mga uh, commonly used uh, HP aircon unit so the first uh, the second column is from 15 volts 200 208 at saka 230 so dito tayo mag-focus sa column na to if we look Ito sa one port, ang polo current niya in amperes is 2.2, 2.9, at saka 3.6. But ito na yung gamitin natin, 3.6. Okay, so for one half, ang gamitin natin is 4.9 amperes. Pag 3 port, 6.9. Pag 1, uh, 8.0. Pag 1 and 1 half, that is 10. Pag 2, 2 HP, that is 12 amperes. Pag 3 HP, use 17 amperes. Pag 5 HP, ang gamit natin is 28 amperes. So, meron tayong uh, horsepower and then corresponding colored current in amperes sa 230 volt single piece. So, ito yung gamitin natin na data. And then, from the table, meron na tayong nakuhang uh, polo amperes okay so one it's one part pero tayong 3.6 sa so one half pero tayong 4.9 sa so three port hp meron tayong 6.9 sa so one hp meron 8 okay. until sa so five hp meron tayong 28 uh, ampere so meron tayong babasahin ko related to size of the circuit breaker ang sabi sa 4.40.3.2 ng PEC this is for application and selection this is for uh, rating or seating for individual motor compressors so a protective device having a rating or seating not exceeding 175% of the motor compressor uh, rated load current or brand circuit uh, selection current Whichever is greater shall be permitted provided that the protection specified is not sufficient for the starting current of the motor. And then the rating shall be permitted to increase but shall not exceed 225% of the uh, motor rated load current. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, to size up the circuit breaker, dapat shall not exceed sa 
175%. Or, hindi rin siya mag-exceed sa 225%. But, meron siyang exception. So, for the rating of branch circuit, short circuit on ground fault, protective device shall not be required to be less than 15 amperes. So, dapat ang circuit breaker mo daw, or yung ground fault protective device, hindi siya bababa ng 15 amperes. Okay? And then, based doon sa code kanina, ang sabi is, shall not be less than 175%. Kaya yung eye circuit breaker natin, that is, yung eye phone load, i-multiply natin ng 1.75. Okay, so to do that, meron yung whole amper natin, that is 3.6. So, if i-multiply natin siya to 1.75, that is 3.6 times 1.75, meron tayong makuhang sagot na 6.3. Okay, so, and then, the next, i-multiply mo lang ulit ito. After multiplying, dun sa kanina, itong uh, 3.6 times the 1.75, the answer is 6.3 amperes. So, itong 4.9, i-multiply mo to so 1.75, ang sagot is 8.57 amperes. Itong 6.9 ampere, i-multiply mo uli dito sa uh, 1.75, ang answer is 12.07. And then itong 8, i-multiply mo to 14, at 1.75, ang sagot is 14. Itong uh, 12, nagiging 21 amperes. So 17, nag naging 29.75 amperes. For 28, that is 49 amperes. So, ito yung uh, basihan natin pag size ng circuit breaker natin. So, merong standard ang Philippine Electrical Code. From 2.40, 0.1.6, the standard ampere readings, that is for fuses and peg strip circuit breakers. So, the standard readings for fuses and inverse time circuit breakers shall be considered as 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, and so on. And but, may sinabi yung code na dapat daw uh, yung circuit breaker ay hindi siya bababa ng 15 amperes. So, mali now that itong sa 1 port HP, yung size ng circuit breaker natin is dapat 20 ampere. Okay? So, itong sa 1 half, the same, 20 ampere. Sa 12.07, that is 20 ampere. Sa 1 HP, that is 20 ampere. Sa 1 and 1 half, that is 17.5, pasok pa rin siya sa 20 ampere. So, sa 21 amperes, uh, next is 25. Uh, mahirap maghanap ng circuit breaker sa commercial. So, next size is 30. And then, sa 3 HP, pasok siya sa 30 amperes. 3, sa uh, 5 HP, that is 49. So, pasok siya sa uh, 50 amperes na circuit breaker. So, ganun yung magiging circuit breaker natin. So, next is, ano naman yung magiging grounding ng uh, circuit breaker natin? Okay, recall lang kanina. So, from the table, dun sa circuit breaker, inverse time circuit breakers. So, meron tayong uh, 20 HP from 1 port HP to uh, 20 ampere trip from 1 port to 1 and 1 half. Then, 30 ampere trip. 4, 2, and 3 HP, and then 5 HP, that is 50 amper trip. So, this time, uh, we'll find out, so, anong magiging size ng ground wire natin? From the PEC, uh, 2017, uh, uh, 2.50, 0.6, 0.13, so, ito yung ating grounding raceway. So, ang gamit natin is 
copper. From this column, ito yung CV rating. And then, if you use aluminum, ito yung gamitin mong column. So, from this 20 ampere circuit breaker, the grounding uh, raceway is 3.5. So, gamit tayo rito ng uh, isang 3.5. mm square na uh, grounding. And then, the same with this until sa 1 and 1 half. That is 1 uh, isang 3.5 mm square. So, sa 30 ampere, ang grounding niya is uh, isang 5.5 mm Square the same with this, okay? So sa 50 uh, HP, meron tayong 50 ampere trip. So pasok siya sa yung 60 is 5.5. So we can use uh, 8.0. We need natin upgrade. That is one 8.0 mm square na uh, ground wire. So Ganun yung ano, magiging grounding wire natin sa ating circuit breaker from the table 2.50.6.13 sa PEC. To summarize our data based sa kanina, so meron tayong uh, 20 ampere trip from 1 port HP until sa 1 and 1 half. And then, yung corresponding ground wire niya is isang 3.5 square mm. And then, 30 ampere trip from 2 to 3 HP. And then, yung grounding wire niya is isang 5.5 square mm. And then, sa 5.0, meron tayong 50 ampere trip. And then, yung grounding niya, in-upgrade natin to 8.0 square mm. So, next is, let's size na naman. Ano yung maging size ng wire sa line to line? Uh, from the uh, data kanina, so ito ngayon yung magiging uh, computation natin to size up the uh, wire ng ating aircon unit. So from the table, meron tayong followed current express in amperes. So sa table ito kanina nagginamit natin. Merong uh, sinabi sa PEC 4.40.4.2 for single motor compressors that ang branch circuit conductors or ito yung wire supplying a single motor compressor shall have an opacity not less than 125% of either the motor compressor rated load current or branch circuit selection current whichever is greater. So, to size up ng magiging wire daw ng single motor compressor, so, dapat na, na, naka-mark up siya da, 125%. So, itong 3.6, if we multiply by 1.25, so, that is 3.6 times 1.25, ang sagot mo is, meron tayong uh, 4.5. So, the same with this 4.9. Let's multiply that by 1.25. Ang sagot mo is 6.125. Okay, so you can continue again. So, pag-calculate nito, 6.9 times 1.25, 8.0 times 1.25 until sa 28 to 1.25. After multiplying, meron tayong nakuhang uh, result base kanina. So, sa 1 port HP, 3.6 naging 4.5, 6.12, 8.62, 10, 12.5, 15 amperes, at saka 21.25, and then itong uh, 35 amperes. So, again, this one, itong column na to, is ito yung corresponding circuit breaker sa uh, HP sa aircon unit natin. So, based to sa calculation natin kanina. So, nakaka-apekto rin to. So, to, to size up the 
uh, uh, wire natin. So, meron tayong code na titingnan. Ang sabi sa uh, PEC, uh, table 2.10, 0.2.6 summary of branch circuit requirements so from this column ito yung circuit rating meron kang conductors wire size saka taps and then fixtures wires and cords sa 15 ampere uh, ampere ang circuit breaker so dapat yung choose this uh, row row this Uh, circuit wires okay so ang 20 ampere so ang ang circuit wires nito is dapat number 12 ito ito number 12 so if uh, you look on the PAC 2017 ito yung table na ginawa ko summarize so yung number 12 mo is uh, ang wire niya dapat is 3.5 square mm so ito is dapat 3.5 square mm. And then, pag 30 ampere trip daw, okay, this is square mm. Pag 30 ampere trip daw, ang ang circuit wires mo is dapat number 10. Which is, yung number 10 is itong 5.5. So, let's use uh, 5.5 uh, square mm. Pag 30 ang uh, 30 ampere trip ang ginamit natin. So, meron tayong 50. So, sa 50 ampere trip daw, ang gamitin mong wire is, ang circuit wires is number 6. So, yung ating number 6 is 14 square mm. So, let's use this uh, selected wires para dun sa Uh, aircon unit natin. Okay, malinaw to. So, ang sabi from uh, kung 20 ampere trip, dapat uh, number 12 or 3.5 pag 30 ampere trip, dapat number 10 or 5.5 pag 50 ampere trip, dapat number 6 or 14 square mm. So, let's use this data para mag-select sa wires natin. And then, based on sa uh, table sa kasadita kanina, So, we can come up uh, itong selected na size of wire natin. So, again, pag 1 port HP, dapat meron tayong dalawang uh, 3.5 square mm. So, until siya sa 1.5 HP. So, ang gamit natin is 3.5 square mm. So, pag 2 to 3 HP, ang gamit dapat na size of wire is dalawang 5.5 square mm. So, sa 5 HP, ang gamit dapat is 14 square mm. So, malinaw sa PEC na ganun yung uh, wires na dapat gamitin natin. And then, additional information, ito ay galing sa PEC 2017, table 3.10.2.6 and B16. This is for wire opacity. So, from this column, ito is naka-express siya sa square mm and then keep ang gamit mong wire THHN THSW uh, THSW THSW THSWN at 75 degrees Celsius so ang 3.5 mo yung wire opacity niya is until 25 amperes so pasok tayo dyan again yung from here that is 4.5 ang pinakamataas is Uh, 12.5 and then yung 5.5 ang kaya niyang capacity is hanggang 35 amperes so ang 8.0 kaya niya hanggang 50 ampe uh, amperes so itong 14 square mm ang kaya niya is until 65 itong 22 square mm ang kaya niya is until 85 and then meron pa itong sunod at uh, at 60 square mm ang kaya niya is until 155 amperes okay we're almost done with our computations so ito is summary na uh, kung ano yung uh, napag-usapan kanina computations gamit ang table sa yung 
sa PEC code. So, dumalabas uh, itong 1 port HP hanggang uh, 1 and 1 half HP ang circuit breaker size niya is pasok siya sa or pwede mong gamitin ang 20 ampere trip. Yung size of wire uh, pwede ang dalawang 3.5 square mm. Saka ang circuit breaker itong ground wire mo is isang 3.5 square mm. Okay? So, uh, next is from 2HP to 3HP. So, ang circuit breaker na dapat gamitin is 30 ampere trip. Yung wire size is dalawang 5.5 square mm. Ang size ng ground wire is isang 5.5 square mm. And then, itong 5.0, so lumalabas na 50 ampere trip yung uh, required circuit breaker. Wire size, line to line is dalawang 14 square mm. Saka yung ground wire isang 8.0 uh, square mm. So, ganun uh, mag-size up ng circuit breaker at saka wire sa single phase na aircon. So, kung tanungin mo anong klase ng wire, so I will give you a hint. You can use THHN if it is dry and damp location or THWN kung uh, damp locations ang application mo. So, I hope may natutunan kayo with our discussion. So, maganda to to start up if merong kayong uh, air conditioning yung cells or meron kayong air conditioning services or nag sales na bibinta kayo ng aircon. Hindi nyo alam ano yung size ng uh, wire sa circuit breaker. So, maganda to para sa inyo. So, thank you for watching. So, please subscribe uh, for more updated uh, videos na i-upload ko.